the other day I was going through my Facebook when all of a sudden I came across this logo. Honestly, it is a cool looking design, but I'm pretty sure it can use a little bit of work in case you are watching us for the first time. Lately, we've been using ChatGPT to create and to fix logos. So I thought it was a perfect idea to just give it a try and see what we get if we send it to ChatGPT and ask it to fix it for us. But before we get started with the video, I just want to know if you are currently using any kind of AI to either create logos for your business. Like, and it doesn't have to be with decals or t-shirts. It can be any type of business. If you own any kind of business and you are currently using it, let us know in the comments. We would love to know. I'm gonna make a copy of this very same image. I did a right click on the mouse and then just copy image. And then I'm gonna go to chat GPT. We are currently using the paid version. This is not the free version. This is the uh, chat GPT. 5.1 i'm going to go ahead and bring the image and one thing that you have to know about especially chat gpt or ai in general you have to be very specific with what you want i'm going to go back to the image and since we use vinyl cutters for most of our projects something that we want to keep in mind is try not to use as many colors so that's something that we have to keep in mind when working with chat gpt This is what I typed in. Can you improve this logo? I want you to keep all the information, fonts, and design. Just improve whatever you think can be improved. Make this high resolution, 3000 by 3000, vinyl cutter friendly. I need to vector it too. So let's start with that first and see what we get. Uh, this is just a logo that we came across. Honestly, we don't even know the person but I thought it was gonna be fun. I forgot to mention that we need to have a white background. So this is what we get. Let's go ahead and click on it and then I'm gonna make a copy of this and then I'm gonna bring it to Corel Draw and place it next to the original image. It is actually higher resolution. I'm gonna zoom in and show you. This is how you can tell when you have a PNG or a picture of the logo and not a vector image. In case you're not familiar with vinyl cutters, you always need to vector the logo before you start sending it to the vinyl cutter because if you do send it like this, basically the vinyl cutter will only see the square. And let me show you what I mean by that. So from here, I'm gonna go to view and this is where you can tell either using enhanced or wireframe. If we go to wireframe, you will see that we only have the square uh, or the image. We need to get like all the lines from inside the logo and this is how we vector the image i'm going to go back to view and then bring it back to enhance and then i'm going to click on the one that we just created using chat gpt i'm going to go back to bitmaps and then outline trace clip art i'm actually going to show you what we get when do, we do the same with both images and see i'm not going to touch the details i'm just going to keep it with just one click of a button and I'm gonna move the vector image. I'm actually gonna place it right next to this one. And I'm gonna go back to enhance so you guys can see wireframe actually. This is already vector. I mean, there there's a few things that we could fix, but it's not, not that big of a deal, honestly. It's not gonna take that long to be able to fix that. And then I'm gonna go back to the original image and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, basically vector it. And I just want to show you what we get. All right. All right. I'm going to move the image, original image, to the other side. And then I'm going to place this next to the actual image that we just created. I'm going to try to make it about the same size. And then, of course, we have a lot of details because of the shades and stuff. But I'm going to go back to view and show you with the wireframe and see a lot of work that needs to be done on the original. Now I'm going to show you what we would do or the way we actually separate all the different layers of vinyl. I'm going to select the image that we just vectored. From there, I'm going to go to arrange, click, and then I'm going to select and group all. And this is what just happened. Basically all the layers and colors are separate, even the different shades like this one here. All we have to do 
next is turn them all into a solid color like blue it's going to be all one same shade and the same with the yellow and even the red color and the way i'm going to do i'm actually going to click on that light yellow and then i'm going to click on the shift button and then click on the other section and then i'm going to go to weld and this is where i can find the shortcut or this is where you can find it too if you go to arrange and then i'm going to go down to shaping and weld but it is actually the same tool and i'm going to go ahead and fast forward because i need to do that with every single different shade of yellow and the other colors As you can see, we are finished. We have every single layer or color combined. All one yellow. The blue is the same. And so is the red. I need to turn it red actually. Right now I have it on pink. But I'm going to go back to the original position where they were. And I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the same original logo. Here's a perfect example on how you can keep your project cheaper if you want to call it that way or more affordable let's say the customer wanted a t-shirt or just a decal oops i forgot or i missed this little section right there it's not a big deal i'm going to combine it it's not too late this is the way you can keep it all very simple let's say uh, one color design very simple like that i'm going to put it on a different color shirt but i still need to get rid of some details and you will see what I mean by that. So I'm going to do like two different versions. Like uh, the, let's say if we were going to offer like a white t-shirt, it would be perfect like this. But now what if they want a, um, a different color shirt, let's say a yellow shirt. And then I'm going to do a dark shirt afterwards. I actually changed my mind to a um, different shade, like a green or safety, kind of like a safety color see it looks really nice on that even a let's say a yellow shirt or different colors but see we got little details that i need to get rid of those which i'm going to do in just a second okay all right so that's an option but let's say that we wanted to do a i'm gonna delete that and then i'm gonna bring the original if they wanted a dark t-shirt now i'm gonna do the opposite but i'm gonna get rid of actually the outline and this is how you would keep it on a black t-shirt. Again, I need to get rid of those little details that we see. But I'm going to go back actually. So I can get rid of those a lot easier while I can see the difference. There's a misspelling here. Actually, it has to say pollitos at the end. Instead of A, it has to be uh, letters s as in my name Saul that's what uh, we would need to change but no big deal again we're just having fun with this logo all right I need to do the same with that weld that's all that I'm doing right now just weld the image and then I'm gonna delete that and the same basically what we did with the other letters All right, now I'm gonna turn it, actually I need to turn this. All of the letters, they have to be one color if we wanted to keep it affordable. So if that's a, let's say a black t-shirt, it would look like this. If you see, we did the uh, reverse, we did the opposite. This one has the outline and this one is, uh, I mean, I don't really know, I forgot the right name for that. Like if you have like the inside of the letters, it would look really nice on something like that. Or let's say a red t-shirt, it would even look better on a color like that. Okay, that, that would be a good way to keep it affordable. All right, and this is if we were to sell any t-shirts, I'm gonna put this on the side. Now I'm gonna go back to the logo 
and I'm going to show you another way if we wanted to make decals and we wanted to layer the vinyl which we try to avoid on t-shirts but not on the decals for that we will need to do like a um, I will show you actually what I mean or what I'm going to talk about right now so I'm going to need to combine that little detail right there so I'm going to select all the different layers all the different colors except the black and this is what I mean see they all disappear so what I'm going to do instead of making them disappear I'm actually going to do cut and this is what's going to happen now I'm going to do like all the outlines I'm going to make it a solid and this is what I mean by that I'm going to get rid of those two and even from here even this one so just that section right there uh, I'm going to forget about the letters at the bottom I need to turn that into a different color so you guys see the difference I need to make that red section into a solid there are different ways on how you can do it you can just break apart the image and then you will get all the different layers but the best way to do I'm going to go back to arrange and then shaping and do a boundary kind of like um uh, silhouette actually yeah silhouette that's what I meant I'm gonna make it disappear I don't know what I did to the silhouette I'm gonna go back okay I'm gonna go back to arrange shape and then boundary and then I'm gonna turn the silhouette black and I'm gonna send it to the back and then I'm gonna delete that red color and then remember that we did cut now we bring the other colors to the front I'm sorry if I went too fast if this is confusing you can always go back to the video slow it down or pause it or uh, not fast forward but you can reverse do whatever you want to do with it but this is the the way we would do a, a solid I'm gonna go back to the original and show you another way remember I mentioned that there's another way and you can do it how you can do it remember we are back to the original position select that image and just break it apart I'm gonna go back to arrange and then break apart and then you will get that silhouette I'm gonna turn it black and then I'm gonna delete all the, the front all the different colors and stuff and I'm gonna make sure that everything is gone the detail little details now we got the silhouette or the background and then remember paste and then I'm gonna show you how we add the within boxes to all the different layers of vinyl since we are talking about making vinyl decals again um, if you were to let's say you wanted to apply the decals directly yourself on a surface the best way would be to first apply the background and then you would apply the other colors on top like the blue you would cut it just like that that little piece of vinyl like that you wouldn't have to worry about cutting extra material then you could just apply it on top and then the same with the yellow and the red but what if the person or someone bought a decal from out of state this is what we would do for that it would be a whole different story all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to move this up a little bit i'm going to add some registration marks and though this is the best way to do let's go to rectangle tool select it and then i'm just going to place a little rectangle it doesn't have to be anywhere in specific but i'm going to try to do it a little bit above that i think that's good right there okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to click that registration mark and then i'm going to shift button and click on the this color the black the one that's uh, the the one that's sticking out the most so I'm gonna click on that uh, registration mark and then click on the black color and then do a uh, press on the letter R I'm gonna make a copy of that I was actually gonna do the left one but I'm gonna repeat the same step I just clicked on the registration mark and the same color the uh, the main base color and then L and then I'm gonna select that registration mark and then click shift and then on top of the other registration mark and I'm gonna do a letter T which means top I guess yeah now the next step would be to make a copy of these two registration marks I selected both of them and then copy I'm going to keep pressing on those 
and then I'm gonna do actually the black color which is the main color and I, I forgot that I have to add the letters still the bottom letters but I'm gonna do that next but I still gotta get rid of the little details inside the letters but it's not a big deal I can always fix that and I gotta do the same with these Now, let me show you, we have the first registration marks. We gotta do the same with the other colors. Remember that we made a copy of them, then bring paste, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blue color, and then uh, I did shift, and then I'm gonna do weld. And remember that we still have copies of those, paste, and then I'm gonna do click on the yellow color, and then I need one for the red one. Paste, and then, well, in this case, that's um, that was pink, but I'm gonna do it red. All right, now we have recession marks for each layer of vinyl. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, but there's something else that I need to do um, or what I would do actually. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way that works for us. This is not probably the best way to save material, but I think this is the safer way if you want to make sure that you have enough uh, transfer to cover the whole decal. I'm going to make a copy for each color and since we have four different colors I'm gonna make four copies I'm gonna move this to the top so these don't get in the way and I'm gonna just get rid of these actually so I have a, um, a box for each color and I'm gonna start by deleting one of each I'm just going to keep the the first the main color which is the black and then I'm going to get rid of the black now. This is what I can do. I can just actually send that square to the back and that way I'm not having uh, or have to deal with what I'm dealing right now so uh, I'm just lazy you know but yeah that's another thing that you can do that way you're not hitting the wrong color and now I need to keep the blue color and see just like that this is again not the best way to save material I know some people complain that uh, we waste a lot of material, but if you are selling decals out of state, you want to make sure that you have enough material to cover the whole decal. Let's say that once we cut all the layers of vinyl, this is how we would combine it, but I'm going to get rid of those, uh, the little squares. This is the main color, but we would need to place the decal, I mean not the decal, but the transfer on uh, one of the other colors except the black, since that's the base. We have to place the um, transfer on the blue then we would combine the blue on top of the red and then we would do the red on top of the yellow color and the last one would be the black color well, I'm actually going to do this way and of course the black color is on top which it shouldn't be it should be on the to the back I'm gonna send it to the back and look at that again this was just a fun project uh, we don't even know the person we just wanted to have some fun with the uh, uh, chat GPT tool and how you can use it to your advantage let us know in the comments what you guys think about this and if you are currently using it we would really appreciate if you share with us too whatever uh, you have learned or any other AI tools that you are currently using. Remember that if you like this video, of course, give us a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Remember that if you would like to support us additionally, we have memberships available. All you have to do is just go to the join button to see all the options available. As always, thank you so much, and we'll see you guys until the next one.